Hi everybody, my name is Rafael Lozano Hammer and I'm an artist. I am both from Mexico and Canada and I'm recording this video from my studio to tell you about a big exciting art project I'm making for Manchester called Atmospheric Memory. Atmospheric Memory is going to be kind of like an exhibition but also kind of like a theater play um, which takes a subject of the work of a man called Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage was a 19th century inventor and this inventor, among many other things, invented the first calculator, the first computer. It was a mechanical device that could add up numbers and simplify the jobs of the people who had to do it all by hand. So I don't know if you've ever appreciated a calculator instead of doing your job by hand. Well, that's all thanks to Charles Babbage almost 180 years ago. Now, Charles Babbage was a really interesting fellow. He said something in a book called the Ninth Bridgewater Treatise, which really inspired me to make an artwork about what he was saying. What he said is that when we speak, we generate a turbulence of air. So basically we have air in our lungs, this is private air, and then as we speak it comes out into the atmosphere and it makes a shape. What Babbage said is that all of the atmosphere is basically all of these different shapes of voices of people in the past. He thought, what would happen if we had a computer that was so sophisticated that we could rewind the motion of all of those uh, molecules in the atmosphere to recreate the voices of everybody who's spoken in the past. So the idea is that the atmosphere is a vast library, that everything everyone has ever said is still in the atmosphere, and that somehow, if we could develop a sophisticated technology, we could eavesdrop and listen and recreate the sounds of the past. So just imagine, you could hear long lost relatives or people that you met a long time ago or historical figures. If you could hear anybody, the question is, who would you want to hear? So all of the artworks that I made for Atmospheric Memory are actually devices to try and recreate the voice, to see, well, what is the shape of the voice? I'm here to show you one element, which is called the volute, and this is it. It's a 3D printed speech bubble. You know, in, in comic books, you always have like a little speech bubble, a little cloudy thing where the text of what is being spoken is written. That actually started, for example, in Mexico, where I'm from, back 2000 years ago in Narcotices, when people wanted to represent speech, they would put speech bubbles. But what we did in my studio is we wanted to know, well, what is the real shape of the, your mouth, of, sorry, of the air as you're speaking? This thing here is actually a laser scan. We took a scan of somebody's voice as he spoke with a thing called a tomograph. And then we made this density maps. We joined them together into a model and then we gave it to a machine called a 3D printer to print it in steel. So this right here is a word, a word coming from my mouth. This here is the mouth. And then this here is time. So as time passes, the word becomes this shape. But we've also sent a little device. It's called an anemometer. It's kind of like an anemometer and a weather vane all at once, which is kind of like an atmospheric machine, which measures in which direction the wind is blowing and also how fast it's going. So we made our own version of it, except we're gonna use these tiny little fans to control its direction with your voice. So we've sent you an example of one of them. Um, in the actual show at Atmospheric Memory, you'll be able to control 99 of these little robotic uh, weather vanes, and they will actually distribute and make shapes according to your voice. You'll have a microphone. I'm also sending a little atomizer. It's an ultrasonic device, which is basically like a little ceramic plate which vibrates very, very, very quickly. And what it does, is the water that is on top of this little plate gets converted into tiny little wisps of, of, um, of vapor, of water vapor. 
And in atmospheric memory, we were going to use that to create an enormous wall of, um, of atmospheric uh, or these atomizing agents, which will create whatever you say onto a microphone, will make it into huge words, eight meters wide with clouds. I invite you to come to Atmospheric Memory, check it out, bring your friends. It's uh, work that lasts about one hour. Some of the stuff is a little bit um, loud and some of it's fun. We have a tunnel that's a bit scary. It's 36 meters long. It has 3,000 little loudspeakers, each of which is telling you something different. So it's a little bit of a crazy experience, but I'm sure you'll have fun with it. And, uh, and also I want you all to uh, appreciate that art and science can work together to create new experiences and hopefully you can find them uh, rewarding and exciting. Thank you so much for your attention.